All right, Capricorn, here we go. December 2021 for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Soulmate Energy is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. Capricorn, my favorite thing at the movie theater. I love it. Get me a big bucket. Ah, Here's my pre-shuffle. There's a seven of wands looking at you. Somebody is hell-bent. Hell-bent. Sticking with what they got, or hell bent that they're hell bent, hell or high water. All right. Now this is just me talking to the universe before your reading. I never used to show you these before in the early days, but I do now. All right. And it's just sort of a precursor. It's just me asking the universe. So what the hell's going on with Capricorn here? All right. In their person. It's the incoming energy. Somebody's hell bent that what they've got is ten pentacles, and they're victorious. Right? But they really want a new beginning. They want out. They want out. But they're in their head about it and they're spying every time they look at you. They want you and they feel the loss of you. Five of Cups. A Page of Swords. Eight of Swords. Chariot. That's what they want to do toward you. Ace of Wands. But they're hell bent. They're what they've got. They're defensive. They're holding on to it. It's whatever this Ten of Pentacles is, whatever their life is right now. It doesn't have to be a marriage. Just whatever their life is right now without you, they've got themselves convinced that it's great, but it's fake. It, it, the, the, I mean, the convincing is fake. They want a new beginning with you. They want to come, come towards you, the chariot, but they get in their own way. But then they spy, and then they go, oh, well, what I missed out on. Two cups still standing. Soulmate. They may not call it a soulmate, but... That's what it is. Hell bent. Okay. Let's pull ourselves a reading, Capricorn. Let's go. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Capricorn universe. Tell me what you're talking about there in the pre-shuffle. What's all this about? What's all this mean to Capricorn? Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Capricorn for December 2021. This reading stretches from about right now, which is uh, November 30th, right up through probably the first week of uh, January. I can't, I'm not a time lord. I can't, you know, pinpoint. I've given the universe a way to understand the time frame because it doesn't have our calendar. It doesn't know what December is. Man made that. But I am telling it, based on the Earth's placement around the sun, what I'm talking about. And that's what everybody who pulls a reading has to do, or else you, you, know, you might as well be pulling a reading on a refrigerator. The, the universe is just energy. It doesn't know man-made things. We have to separate ourselves from and our self-importance as human beings to talk to the universe. Same applies if you're manifesting, by the way. Separate yourself. Be part of the universe, not some omnipotent being who's above everything. That's what humans think they are. It's funny. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, the card before the cut is right here. Mm-hmm. This is why the fuck are we here? Okay, nine nine cups. Yeah, yeah, the wish fulfilled. But the other side of this, the B side of this energy, is them convincing themselves that they've already got their wish fulfilled. It's a fucking lie. We saw it in the damn. It. it they get in their own way in their head, but I think, you know, as with all the signs, you're like the 10th tenth, tenth sign or something. Tenth, yeah, they're the 10th sign I've pulled on. I know what's happening here in December, okay? And you will too in a minute because right here is you. You're their wish fulfilled. Regardless of what they're defensive about or hell bent on holding on to on their side, their way of being, their person they're with, their family, their job, whatever it is that they think is more important than you is wrong. And they know it. Queen of Pentacles right here. Divine Feminine. The, one of the finest aspects of the Empress energy, I might add. The aspect that makes the Empress so goddamn alluring. That everyone loves. You know, warm. Soul warming. Okay. Let's pull ourselves a reading. The universe knows what I mean by that. Give me a reading, universe. Capricorn from the angle of Capricorn. The soulmate connection cycle from the angle of Capricorn for December 2021. Give me a reading. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. 
I've been looking forward to these December readings and they have not let me down. I have, they have not. You should watch some of them even if you wouldn't normally. Oh, I never watch Scorpio or I never watch Virgo or what if. Just watch it anyway. I'm funny as shit on this, on this crap. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. I'm in a mood. I'm just happy to be home and done with family holiday. I'll tell you what. <sighs> right here, Knight of Swords. Yeah, they want out of whatever they got. And that's what I'm getting off of this. He's running, and if that ain't fast enough, there's a motorcycle right there. But they're worried about it. Birds in the air are worried about communicating that. Maybe they're worried about telling somebody to fuck off. Maybe they're worried about telling their family to fuck off. Maybe they're worried about, well, security or whatever. They're worried about something. We saw it with the Eight of Swords and the pre-shuffle, but they want out of whatever it is they got. What's underneath this? What's fueling this? Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. They, so they, because of the worry, they want, want, W-A-N-T, right? It's what the pre-shuffle showed us. They want. And I said they, they, they're telling themselves they're hell bent that what they've got is good, but what they really want is to come toward you. Yeah, they want out of that and they want to come toward you, but. Something about timing, something about sitting on their hands. This fool's waiting for this, this tree to bear fruit. It's going to be a while, brother. Okay? This whole reading is clarifying the Knight of Swords. All right? Let's find out if this guy is going to run or not. Male or female, let's find out. Let's go. The reading's on the flip. Let's go. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels and their emotions. Right here's how they feel about you and the soul. Not what they show you, not what they tell you, because that's bullshit. You know, they don't even tell themselves the truth. Right here is the, me talking to the universe, and I'll tell you what she says. It's red with the energy of the connection. And right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I can't predict free will. Nobody can. Not even the universe. I am going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. If I think we need to extend this one, I will. I haven't needed to extend but a couple of readings. Two. Only the hotspot readings. The rest have all been very clear. But even if I don't extend it and I think I need to pull a side reading for you, I'll do it. All right? Okay. All right. You ready? You got your big pot of Capricorn with you? You got the large size, I hope. Here we go. What's the first card out after this Knight of Swords? What's the energy around the connection right now? What is it? Ten Swords. Yeah. It's dead. The connection energy is dead. It's dead. Off. Done. Why? Well, why'd you ask why? Have you not been paying attention, Capricorn? Get your fucking face out of the damn bowl of Capricorn and pay attention. Stop stuffing your face. It, it, it's, it's, it's dead because someone is hell-bent, as I said in the pre-shuffle, on what they've got is good. I'm all set with what I got. I don't need any Capricorn. I'm good with popcorn. Right? I don't need Capricorn. It's a lie, though. Because right underneath that is this undying urge to get the fuck out of it. And it's right here too. With two sides of this card. One running toward you. The other, well, I want out of what I got. This is very indicative of this soulmate cycle. Now you have the, the slowest moving connection. But you're right there. I mean with, you know, everything is par for the course here. Okay, so it's dead. Just relax. I don't mean it that way. I mean just the energy. Calm down. Calm down. I don't want to piss off a bunch of goats. Okay, right here is uh, how do they feel in, in their emotions? Just in general, how do they feel? This is a fun card to look at. Eight of Cups. They want out of whatever they've got. So I'm walking away from something they once loved, the Eight of Cups, toward the Nine of Cups. Right? Who was the Nine of Cups? Where was the Nine of Cups? It was right here in the pre-shuffle before the cut. It's you because after that was the Queen of Pentacles. You got to remember from the beginning you can't just stuff your face with Capricorn the whole time and not pay attention. Turn up the volume so you can hear over the crunching. Capricorn's very crunchy. All right. They want out. They want to come towards you. Want. W-A-N-T. It doesn't mean I want all kinds of things. So do you. It doesn't mean we're going to get them. The energy of the connection is dead because what they got, they don't need Capricorn. They're good with popcorn. But yet, at the same time, in the same breath, they want to come toward Capricorn. No, I want Capricorn. I love Capricorn. Okay. They also see you as out a little bit or feel you as out a little bit. 
I bet you are. You know, the whole energy of the connection is ten of swords. I mean, you probably gave up on this person. I, I, I'm about to. But I, I, I know what energy's here, so I'm not going to. And I'm not stuffing my face with Capricorn. I have to pay attention. I don't have that luxury. I have to pull a reading. All right, right here's the energy around how they feel in their soul about you. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to come charge you. They want to work on things with you. It's red with the Ten of Swords book ending. Look at this top row. It's all minor arcana. I got no major arcana on the table, not even our overall energy. It's all up to this person's questionable free will. And that bothers me. Uh, you know, I don't blame you if you've given up on them. But the three of pentacles for how they feel about you, red with the ten of swords, is uh, they want to fix this. These two cards together, this is someone who wants to fix something. It, they start out as children, right? Building little children toys things, starting from the ground floor. Yeah, because it's dead. Everything is, uh, I'm okay with what I got. I don't want Capricorn. I'm good with popcorn. No, they're not. And the next two cards, including the center of my reading, prove it. And our pre-shuffle proved it. And the cut cards proved it. She walking toward the Nine of Cups. You are the Nine of Cups in the pre-cut. I know that because the Queen of Pentacles came out after the cut. It's very important. My lead into the reading is very important. It's part of the reading. This Knight of Swords is crossing the Nine of Cups. They want to come towards you. It's right here. Okay, let, let, let me have a chat with the fickle old gal. Let's see what the universe has to say. It's red with the Ten of Swords here. Okay. Okay. Seven of Cups. Another minor arcana. And when the universe gives me a minor arcana, it means it doesn't have a lot of faith in your person's free will either. Okay. Usually, the universe, she, talks with a major arcana card. This is, and it does that nine times out of ten. This here is the Seven of Cups. This, these, these December readings, including the December overview, have been minor arcana palooza 2021. Okay? It's like a rock concert you don't want to go to. You know? Oh, really? We're going to go, you could only get tickets to minor arcana palooza? Shit. What bands are playing there? You know, it's like shit fest. People that don't even know how to play had like two lessons. You know. Seven of Cups read with the Ten of Swords. They don't even know. They don't want this to be over. They don't want they want to come towards you. They don't you don't even know what to pick. They're fooling themselves that they're picking. It's confusion. I'm even confused in giving you the meaning of the card here. The the energy around this is like this. I don't even know how to read that universe. Yeah. What's the potential final outcome? Pray. Pray your little Capricorn hands for a major arcana card here. Pray as, as, as whatever God you believe in. I don't care. I don't care if it's the chipmunk God. Pray to it. No. It's not enough. Even the chipmunk God can't help us. It's minor arcana. It's the eight of pentacles. They're hell bent on working on what they got. They're hell fucking bent. They want to come towards you. Want, want to, want to. They, the energy around the connection is dead, but it's not. This seven of pentacles tells, or seven of cups tells me it's not dead. This eight of pentacles tells me that they're in the final outcome. They're working on something on their side that they're hell bent on, on saying is the ten of pentacles. It's good. It's what I want. It's practical. Whatever it is, it's not based on love. I hope the fuck it's not a marriage or a relationship because it's not based on love. But like I always say about this card in the light seer, that's an uncomfortable chair. They can fool themselves all they want, but she's going to need to get up and go have a cigarette pretty soon because that chair is uncomfortable. I ain't sitting in that motherfucker for eight hours. Are you? No. They don't even have a cushion on it. Okay? All right. Let's go. Let's move our little night in a little bit. Okay. Try to make it look all pretty for you. All right. There we go. That's as pretty as I get. Right here is the Ten of Swords. Why is it here? Let's clarify. Let's go a couple layers deeper. I'm going to go deep for you, okay? All right. Let's go. Let's go. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Tell me about this. Let's clarify, universe. 
Give me some goddamn clarity. I can't wait to clarify the most unclear fucking energy on the table. Even your own person doesn't believe themselves. For fuck's sake. Why? It's because we looked into their feelings. We looked into their emotions right here. We went into their private parts, right? We went all gynecologist on them. Disrobe from the waist down, motherfucker. Let me take a look right here. They want to walk away from what they got. They don't even believe they want to work on it and stay in there. They want to come toward nine cups. This is the center of my reading. Why is the ten swords here? Why is this connection reading is dead? Why? 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 It is anything but dead. Crossing it is the Hierophant card. Something long term on their side is preventing this connection. I don't know what it is. It could be. It, it's practical, whatever it is. It could be if it's a if it's a marriage or a relationship. It's for money. If it's a job, if they're obsessed with it, and they and they whatever. It could be a family dynamic. I don't know something, or there could be spirituality differences between you two. There's too many people watching. I can't say. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's block. It's cock blocking this connection. Let's find out what's on the flip. Three swords. This person is heartbroken that they, that this connection is dead. Heartbroken. Both sides. There's there's two slashes in this heart here. Kurt Cobain in pain. He's in pain. There's two slashes on this. Not only did Dave Grohl ruin grunge, but he also ruined the Nirvana name. Okay. There you go. That's an upset corpse right there. That is. It, there's a lot of pain here. It's a lot of pain because this disconnection had an effect on both sides. I see it with the Hierophant. But I also see whatever this Hierophant is as cock blocking is killing this connection. It's whatever they want to work on on their side. Whatever they're hell bent in believing is, you know, for them. Is Ten Pentacles. Mm. Three Cups. It's a third party. It, it's a third energy that's killing it. Right? I got. It's dead. There's a lot of pain here. Both sides want this. Both sides are hurt. It's a third party situation. I said it's something long term. It's the Hierophant crossing that. It's a very clear message from the universe. If this isn't resonating with you, if your person doesn't know anybody, they don't have anybody in their life, they have no family, they have no job, they don't even have objects in their life, they just float in space, then this reading isn't for you. If your person is around another human being, even a friend that might not want them to be with you, this reading is for you. Okay? Anything, everything is energy. Anything is a third party. Anything. A toaster can be a third party. I can't go with Capricorn. I have a toaster. And I have to take care of this toaster. And I have to watch this toaster. I cannot do it. That toaster is a third party that's getting in the way. And it's very long term, too. Because toasters last a long time. I haven't bought a toaster in 12 years. That's a long-term commitment when you get a toaster. you got to be careful when you go to the appliance store. Make sure you get the right toaster. You're stuck with that toaster for a long time. All right, you get my point? Are we clear? Are we on the same page? Everybody fucking nod. Take your faces out of your Capricorn. Okay. Why is the Eight of Cups here? This person's starting to annoy me. Now I'm starting to get feisty. I'm funnier when I'm feisty, but I do get feisty. I have to I have to become part of your connection to pull these readings. I'm an energy reader. I have deep I'm more than that. I have deep empathy. I'm an energy reader who can become other people if I want to be. I can feel everything they feel if I want to. It uses a lot of energy, so I don't do it. But I have to be part of your connection to do these readings. And I'm annoyed. You love Capricorn, you lying sack of shit. I see it here, right there. <laughs> Can't lie to me. And you're not going to lie to me with this either. It's up to their free will, though. It's all minor arcana. It still is. We, we did get a major arcana, the Hierophant crossing here, but it's just a crossing card. You don't see it on the table, do you? It's all minor arcana and a court card. It's fucking hell. We're, we're fucked, Capricorn. <laughs> I'm with you. I say we because I have to be part of your connection to pull the reading. We're fucked. 
We're never going to bang this person. All right, here we go. Eight, we got to rely on their fucking free will. All right, eight cups. Why is it here? Why is eight cups here? Mm, yeah, crossing the eight of cups is the world. Another major arcana. It seems the major arcanas are the crossing cards. The crossing cards are a bit like crossing guards. I know it rhymes, but, it, but they are a little bit. It's the universe putting up a stop sign, letting the kids cross the street. It, it is. Come on, the universe is setting up here. The universe has set it up for them to literally a cycle end and a new cycle begin. It, it's up to them whether they do it. And they're hell-bent on whatever it is staying on their side, there, but they're confused. You know, it could be they're confused because of the pain. These are red together. Could be they're confused because they have to open up. It could be they're confused because somebody's controlling them. I don't know yet. God, give me a minute. Right here. Yeah. Ace of Cups, they're holding on to a lot of love for you. Holding on to it. Sealed with cellophane. Put stuck in the back of the fridge. Like old jello nobody wants. But it's there. They're holding on to a lot of love for you. They love Capricorn. I don't care what they rave about popcorn. They love fucking Capricorn. Right here. Yeah. They need to let go. They're holding back. They're holding on to it. The Ace of Cups. Not always given. It's it's held it. It's sealed up with cellophane. Two of Wands coming out asking why the Ace of Cups is here. Because they need to let go of something on their side. They need to let go of a way of thinking, a way of being, whatever the fuck this is, to come toward you for a whole new life. And they know it's a whole new life when I'm drawn to the globe. They know. They fucking know. Something over here is cock blocking this connection. Whatever this is that they're holding on to to work on. And you know what it is. If that's resonating with you, you know what's cock blocking this connection. Right here. So if you're wondering if your person still cares about you because you haven't heard from them or whatever, yeah, they do. They're in denial. Like, pfft. surprised we haven't seen Fakey McFakerman yet, the Queen of Wands, or the King of Wands, or her even faker husband, the King of Wands, uh, Burger King. Why is the, uh, gotta have it their way? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? They want to work on things with you. <clears throat> Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Here you are again. Pshh. Yep, they want to work on things with you. Yeah, this is how they feel about you in the soul. Minor arcana. Minor are crossed by minor arcana. Yeah, I expected that. You're the nine of cups. We know that. We saw it from the pre-cup. It's right here. You're the nine of cups. They want to work on things with you. Then look who came back. The world. The universe is fucking facilitating it. It's saying it's probably going to happen. This is encouraging because when the world falls on something, it happens. This might happen. They might. I, I don't know. What's the next card? Queen of Cups. Love wins the day. Love is going to win the day here at the end, Capricorn. The love is going to win the day. Capricorn is way better than popcorn. And what they got on their side is popcorn. All right? Uh, if I have a choice of two movie theaters and one serves Capricorn and one serves popcorn, I'm sure as fuck not going to the popcorn one. Right here, Queen of Cups is the most loved one human being can feel for another. It's my most lovey-dovey card. It's got a red head on it. You all know if you've been here a while how I feel about red heads. Right? It's Dick Chakra lit. That's what it is. Right here, it's a lot of love. Love's go the universe is saying love's going to win the day. It's boiling up from the soul. I see it here with the Ace of Cups starting to leak, isn't it? All right. Okay. This is encouraging. But I am being honest with you. In the energy, it is all bound to this person's free will. It's all down to it. On the base reading, it is all fucking minor arcana. And they seem hell bent. And I used it. I've never used that phrase before in any reading, I don't think. It's here this time. Hell or high water, they're going to make whatever this is. They're going to hold on to whatever this is. Why? We're going to find out why. We'll, we'll, let's talk to the universe about this Seven of Cups here. Because I get a little bit of a... I think I know why love wins the day. I think what happens is they're afraid you're going to have somebody else. 
They're afraid somebody else is going to be. You know what you should do? You, if they're spying on you, which I think they are. I saw the Page of Swords. For a lot of you, they are spying on you. We saw it in the pre-shuffle. You should pay a friend or a cousin or something that they don't know. Whatever. I, it, it doesn't matter. To pretend that they're your boyfriend or girlfriend out on social media. And y'all fucking, you know, talk to... Just make it look like... Or just make it look like they flirt with you or something like that. Just if it's a cousin, make sure they don't know it's your cousin, alright? You know, that's kind of weird. But... Whatever the case, it, it, something like that might jar this person loose because there's a lot of love. That kind of stuff can always rip the cellophane off the Ace of Cups. Somebody else interested in you. Happens all the time, don't it? Someone dumps you and then you start talking to somebody else and then they find out and all of a sudden your phone lights up with their emojis and shit. Happens all the time. Why is the Seven of Cups here? What else you want to tell my Capricorn people universe? Tell me something. This is red with all of this, okay? So they're confused at the very least, and they are worried you might find somebody else. I mean, that's that's in the energy for some of you. Okay. Oh God, jeez. Oh, for fuck's sake. Crossing the Seven of Cups is the Ace of Wands. Yeah, from the pre-shuffle. Yeah, this is the beginning they want with you, but they don't know how to get it. They don't know what to do, and and then they just say, "Oh, fuck it," and I'm gonna just stick with what I got. It's too hard to go get Capricorn. Capricorn's harder to pop than popcorn. It needs a higher temperature and you have to use a higher oil flash point. And it's all, yeah, fuck you. If, just because something's hard doesn't mean you don't do it. The Six of Wands on top of it. This is beautiful. This is actually almost, I'm sorry, it's almost funny in a way. Because this is the message from the universe. And this Six of Wands, victory, and a hell of a fine miniskirt, victory and transformation is read with the Three of Swords. It's saying, the universe is saying the same thing it said over here. Love's going to win the day. Okay? Love's going to win the day because they're going to be in some kind of pain. Either pain from their side, from this ridiculousness, pentacle based shit that they're trying to make work, or pain on their side because you have other options. It's pretty much what I felt in the energy just getting verified here. Why is the Six of Wands here? Because you're the Ten Pentacles. Because you're the Ten Pentacles, that's why. What they have now is hurting them. Right? This Ten of Pentacles is red with the third party situation here. And this, this card isn't always three party. It depends what's around it. But this is. This is a third energy. And remember, I told you it could be a toaster. So for those of you that seem to think it's always a marriage, oh, my person's not married, this guy's full of shit, I'm out of here. Hold on a minute. I'm going to make it a toaster, okay? I'm just going to make it a toaster, the third energy. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell it to you that way. That toaster, right, this toaster is what they think is ten pentacles, and it's killing your person. It's hurting them. Every time they take toast out of it, it burns because it stays on and it's got a short in it and it gets zzz, they get zapped every time they pull anything out of it. A Pop-Tart, bread, anything. Oh my God, you don't want to get zapped by a Pop-Tart. Right? Yeah. What's going to bring victory on the flip side of this, the, B, the A side of the energy, this is the B side, the A side of the energy, side one of the record, is you might have options too. And that's going to hurt them, and that might bring them in. It might. The universe says it will. I don't like to say it will. The universe is cocky sometimes. I don't want to get cocky with you. I don't want to give anybody false hope. I don't have a lot of faith in your person. And the universe gave me three minor arcana cards where it usually gives me major arcana. That tells me it don't have a lot of faith either. It's being optimistic with the world card here. But it's not optimistic with this. This is what they feel for you. If you want to know how this person feels about you, because what they tell you on the outside is, I can't be with you because i got a toaster, and I love that toaster, and I don't want to be with you, and uh, you smell anyway, so I'm out of here. If that's what they tell you on the outside, it's a fucking lie. They want to build something with you. They see a whole new life with you. A whole new cycle in their life could be with you. I see it here. I see it here. I see it with the world that was crossing here. I see the love here, sealed up in cellophane. And I see it here that they want to give it. She gives the full cup. And it's right here in how they feel about you. Okay? So, at least take solace in that. Alright? You lost out to a toaster. 
Don't don't let that ruin. For, for now, you've lost out to a toaster. Don't let that ruin your self-image. All right, you're still very beautiful. I'm sure. All right, I'm sure you look better naked than that toaster does. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm positive. All right, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What's this shit? I'm going to make this work. No, you're not. You're sitting in an uncomfortable chair. You're going to need to get up. You're going to need to get out of that chair. What is this shit? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What's our final final on this universe? Oh my God. Here you are again. Nine cups. Eight Pentacles. I'm going to make this work. Our potential final outcome is it's their choice. They're hell-bent on making whatever this third energy is work. They love that toaster. I love it. Who does that? Uh, the Nine of Cups crossing it. They, it, it. This is the epitome of, with the Nine of Cups crossing it, it's the epitome of my uncomfortable chair analogy. She can't make this work. I mean, male or female, it's a she on the card, I assume, or it's a guy with a man bun. Okay, whatever, I don't care. He or she can't make this work. This is an uncomfortable chair and she ain't going to sit in it for eight hours. They can't because the wish fulfilled is Capricorn. Capricorn. The fuck, oh, It's not the card of Capricorn, but it is you. You're, most of you watching me are the Divine Feminine. This is the Divine Feminine, which you already came out part of as with the Queen of Pentacles after the cut after the Nine of Pentacles before. So first you came out Nine Pentacles and then Queen of Pentacles. Now you come out full-blown tits in the air Empress. The best tits in the tarot. They can't look away from that. It's red with the Ace of Cups. This person loves the fuck out of you. But they're hell-bent on this. This last, it's down to this last card. It's red with the Two of Wands. Will she let go? It's a she on the card. Whether your person's male or female doesn't matter. Will she let go of something and come toward Capricorn? Will she stop eating popcorn and come toward Capricorn? Or will she just keep stuffing her face with low-grade popcorn corn kernels? I don't know. We'll find out after these messages. Hmm. What is it? It's red with the two of wands. I haven't looked. It's coming out. It's right here. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's Capricorn energy. I said it here. I said, I pulled this card and I said, it's, it's, it's you. You thought I meant, oh, God, you, uh, a lot of you out there like to correct me. You thought, oh, no, God, Empress is not a card of Capricorn, Steve. Okay. That's not what I meant. I meant the Divine Feminine. But this is a card of Capricorn. It's the devil. It's the glitter-haired asshole with the Trans Am and his shirt off at the party. These two, this guy, male or female, doesn't have a shot at this girl. Unless he uses roofies, he don't have a shot. She ain't going to go for him sober. No doubt about it. Hmm. It's red with the two of wands. You're crossing it. The wish fulfilled. Their own shit. According to the universe, it put two major arcanas here as our final final. You're representing as one and the nine of cups. And the other one is their own shit. The universe... Mm, I'm going to have to pull on the devil... I'm not going to extend this one for you. There's no need. There's nothing else here to tell. But we're going to find out what's, what's up with this devil. I'm going to switch decks. I'm going to get the little animal deck. I'm going to pull as much on this devil as I can, okay? Let's see what we got here. Because at, at a core indication in the energy, it's their shit's going to win out and they're just going to stay with what they got. But the universe says there's a good shot, an optimistic universe, says there's a good shot that love wins the day here. And I see it. The empress is irresistible. But this person has an equal force of irresistibility within them to run from things, to shoot themselves in the foot, shall we say? Okay? Tell me about this devil. Where is it going? Tell me about the devil. Come on. 
Why is the devil here? Yeah. Uh, bottom of the deck is the two of pentacles. Wishy-washy, back and forth. They're back and forth. I, like I said, she can't sit in that chair for eight hours. They're back and forth. Those are great tits. But their own shit is... But they're just... Their own inner asshole, right, prevents... Well, it's probably past pain from childhood. I'm not putting them down. I'm not picking on them. I'm just saying this guy's an asshole. This girl's awesome. Okay? Straight up. Uh, it, it's a... It's it's like the it's like the antichrist here, you know, the anti DM kind of a thing. They're back and forth on it. One day they're they're like I'm going toward the empress. The other day they're I'm not. They're uh, they are. They're not. They are. They're not. They are. They're not. Back and back and forth. And what's on top? Four of wands. Crossing the devil. Four of wands. It is a happy new beginning. It is something long term. But I'm asking about the devil specifically. This has this devil energy is the third energy that stop it's the toaster. Okay? It's the, it's something within them or around them. There's some kind of toxic page of swords. It's disappointing. It's disappointing messages. They can't let this go. I'm drawn to the owl holding on to the sword. They might be doing some spying on the empress while she's changing, checking out the titties. But the bottom line is, it's, it's, it, as, as, as communication goes, the page of swords is usually disappointing. Okay? On some level. Two of swords. Block communication. The devil causes them to not speak. It will change. This is where the universe brings out another major arcana here. The Wheel of Fortune. The Empress, your energy, I'm going to tell you what I told you last time in an, in an energy update I did for you. Your energy, your Empress energy is healing to the Divine Masculine. It always is. The Divine Masculine energy is protective to the Empress energy, to the Divine Feminine. You're healing this person through energetic osmosis. It's the same message coming up. This is why the universe is optimistic here that love wins the day. But what it's saying here is they've got a lot of devil energy to work through. Which is why they're staying with that toaster on their side. That toxic toaster that zaps them. Either inside them or people around them. It doesn't matter. Maybe they ate the toaster. I don't know. Or they married the toaster. I don't know. Either way. Way, way out. Way down inside. Woman. I'm doing a little Led Zeppelin there. Whole lot of love. <laughs> uh, it is. It's a, it's a line from Whole Lot of Love. You need. Anyway, here we go. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, now I'm going to listen to that song after this video. Uh, it's turning. Your energy is causing the devil energy to short out. And, uh, uh, uh. I tried. I tried. I don't have a lot of faith in your person. I don't. They put up a wall of resistance to it. The moment it turns, they self-sabotage it with the Five of Swords, and then they get in their head with the Eight of Swords on the next three cards out. I can't go any further. I've pretty much pulled a whole other reading for you. So even though your energy is healing to them, they're still afraid to come towards you because they're in their head too much. That's what I got. I mean, it's just a December reading. It's not forever. But it is, here in December, this person's going to get in their own way and stick with what they've got. It's what they're going to do. But your energy is healing them. Which only brings you... You may say, why, why, why do I care about that, Steve? Because this brings you good karma. You're doing the universe's work. You're helping the universe while, as you balance yourself. Within yourself. Your own inner masculine and inner feminine. Within yourself. Okay? You are connected to this person directly, like a conduit. You're sending them healing energy. It's going to bring good things your way. And I'll even go a step further for you. What's this mean to the Empress? What does this mean to the Empress? My Divine Feminine's watching. Why do they give a shit that they're healing this person, universe? What kind of Christmas present you got from my fucking Empresses? What's up? Okay, let's find out. All right. I'm not going to forget you. Right. I like Capricorn. Capricorns are good people. Tough to get to know, but once you do, 
you're all set. But that's good. You Capricorns are discerning about who they let in their life. You should be. You should be discerning. Don't open up to everybody. Oh, arr. people like that get hurt a lot. <laughs> Use your head. That's what Capricorns do. All right, here we go. What's in this for my Empress? <laughs> a whole new life. Transformation. Victory. Another card of transformation. The strength card. And justice. Yeah, every time I pull on the Divine Feminine, I often say, it's like a douche commercial. I'm petting deer in the forest and rabbits are saying hello to me. And, <laughs> oh my God. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. You're helping this person and you're getting back some of the most powerful positive energy in the damn deck. You might not think, oh, I got the death card. The death card, these are basically kind of, these are both transformation. This is victory after a long battle. This is a butterfly represents transformation. This is the death of one way that you've been living and transforming into something else. And we ask what? It's a strong person. A strong, fearless person who goes after what they want with balanced energy, justice coming your way. Justice, balanced energy. What does justice and balanced energy mean to you in the 3D? It means happiness. This is better than the Ten of Cups. Better. This is, it's better than the sun, quite frankly. This is justice. It is balanced energy. And all balanced energy means to a human being in the 3D is happiness. So as I reiterate, as you find your inner masculine and feminine, you heal yourself, you get justice, and on the same, by the same token, you get that justice because you're helping this person grow. Now, after they grow at the Wheel of Fortune stage and they get past this devil energy, there's still a fuckwit and they put up a wall to their emotions and they self-sabotage it by thinking too much because you can't think about love. You can't think about feelings. People go about it all wrong. I just wrote a blog article today that talks about this. It even talks about how when people study religion, they do it wrong. That's why everybody goes crazy when they read religious books and they don't understand. They're trying to think about religion. Religion is to be felt. Faith is felt. You have to feel the book and then you understand the book. You don't think the book. You don't think God. You feel God. This person same thing with love. You don't think love. You feel love. This person is doing all this thinking and putting up walls. And until they figure that out, that's not your problem. That's them in the 3D. It is what it is. But you got justice coming, young man, young lady. <laughs> that's your reading. I mean, I went above and beyond for you here. You know, this is, this is almost as many cards as what's on the damn table. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful to you. If I help one person today, I've done my job. Go over to sltblog.com and read my damn blog. You get plenty more fun facts from me. Anyway, uh, that's, that's your reading. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Okay. I'll keep an eye on it, Capricorn. If this changes, I will let you know. The universe is convinced love's going to win the day. I think it does, but I think it's more love for yourself. I think they're going to get in their head and, and cock block this whole thing some more. Even after they conquer the devil inside. The devil inside. Is that an in excess song? I think it is. Anyway, good luck Capricorn. I'll keep an eye on it. If I see any changes, I'll give you an energy update.